All right, and we are back in the lobby bar for the week of August the 15th, 2022. Brian and Michaela here coming to you direct from the movie theater on our way in to see a classic that we're going to be talking about this week. But uh, Michaela, how are you doing? We uh, used a bottle of uh, sake last week in episode 89 for uh, Bullet Train, uh, and I had a lot of sake left over. You had some sake left over. What'd you do with it? So we talked about making uh, a cocktail uh, last time our bullet train cocktail was called the bullet train and we hadn't seen the film yet. So we uh, went ahead and saw the film and then revisited this cocktail. And we thought, you know what? There was a lot of lemon and there was a lot of tangerines mm -hmm, in mm -hmm. bullet train. Um, so what if we gave it like a, like a tangerine ish kind of twist to it. So what mm -hmm. I did was I took all of the, well, I did all of the ingredients except the pineapple juice. I just substituted the pineapple juice with real tangerine juice. And okay. um, it was pretty good. I still think I like the pineapple juice better, probably because of the, like the ginger syrup lends itself better to the pineapple rather than the tangerine. I don't know, but uh, it was real good. And I recommend that. What about you? What are you doing with your sake? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, sake pairs really nicely with, uh, you know, kind of those, uh, lighter, more delicate fruit flavors. So yeah, the tangerine would be, be an excellent way to go there. What I did with mine was I found this uh, cocktail and it's called, it's from a website called she keeps a lovely Um, I guess it's like an entertaining, uh, and, uh, housekeeping website. I don't know, but she had this cocktail in there. It looked awesome. I tried it, loved it. Uh, so that's what I'm bringing to you today in the lobby bar, Michaela. So it is called the phantom love song. Uh, it's very beautiful. It gets this, uh, it's kind of like this white iridescent, uh, very, very ethereal look about it. And it's basically a gimlet, except we're swapping the gin out for the sake. So you're going to take two and a half ounces of the sake, a half ounce of St. Germain and a quarter ounce of fresh lime juice. Put that in your shaker, shake it up, strain it out into a coupe glass and you are good to go. It's very lovely. It's very light and refreshing and delicate. All those things that sake uh, bring to you, uh, which we are loving now ever since doing bullet train last week, we we're like uh, sake aficionados. Not really, but we do love a sake. Um, so yeah, give this, give this a try. It's, it's delicious. And one of my favorite things about it is, uh, you know, you get a gin cocktail and who doesn't love that well people i don't That's trust right. people don't i don't trust don't like gin i think is what it is really but but you know sometimes gin it's it's pretty beefy right like it's it's a high abv sake is not so you can make this um you know have have one or two of them uh still feel pretty good it's, it's a nice way to kind of lower that uh that alcohol content of your cocktail still get something really delicious and uh really refreshing and crisp and and fun so that's that's what i'm bringing today phantom love song that yeah, sounds amazing. And she does keep a lovely home. Wow. Yeah. This yeah, this absolutely. site for anybody who's interested in like entertaining and making it look effortless. Uh, for feeling bad about this... your own home. You just go here. <laughs> just go here. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Well, I can't wait to try this. This looks delicious. Um, yeah. yeah. Right. And Saint Germain and sake. How could we go wrong? You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong at all. So uh, give those a try. Or if you have any other good sake recipes, uh, pass them our way. Because like I said, we are both uh, loving the uh, sake lifestyle right now. But what were people loving over the weekend? Uh, it was a lot of the same stuff, Michaela. Uh, we had basically the same top five again. So Bullet Train led the way with 13 million, uh, followed by DC League of Super Pets. Uh, Top Gun Maverick moves from sixth back up to third place. Top Gun and Tom Cruise will not quit with that one. Uh, Thor Love and Thunder and Nope round out the, the top five. But Bullet Train, uh, number one one second week in a row there were a couple of new releases but nothing really that was going to challenge it and none of them did that well uh truth be told but a uh, good second week for brad pitt and co yeah yeah i'm excited because i think this is going to be one that also can take on sort of a cult classic vibe um mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. 10 years we're going to be like oh all these actors came together to make this crazy film uh i i feel like that about it maybe i'm totally wrong but the more i think about that film the more i really liked the journey and the it was just a really fun ride and we needed that this summer with all of yeah. the other stuff going on we needed a yeah. fun ride yeah for sure for sure um we mentioned a little bit in the episode last week um we kind of you know we we're talking about some people we overheard coming out of the theater and kind of our own thoughts was it felt very t tarantino-esque and maybe that is 
the true tell of that is, you know, kids now that are in, you know, like they're in their 20s, like college aged kids have seen this. And maybe, you know, in 10 years from now, they're going to look back on it the same way we look back on like Reservoir Dogs and Pulp Fiction, uh, you know, in kind of that, that same sense. So maybe it's uh, Tarantino-esque in that way, too, going into the future. So $13 million there for Bullet Train. So a good second week showing uh, yearly box office results. No change here. Top Gun Maverick is uh, still in first up to $673 million, but uh, pretty exciting stuff for Top Gun. Uh, this week, it looks like it is scheduled to take over a sixth place all time over Avengers Infinity War. So uh, that'll be good. That'll be a really big uh, box office. Uh, kudos there to the team that brought us all those uh, fighter jet uh, goodness. Go listen to our episode about Top Gun Maverick because it was a good one. It was a good one. And what do we have coming out this week, Michaela? Beast. What can you tell me about Beast? Anything? It's got Idris Elba in it. It does have Idris Elba. I, I, and- I know that much. Um, and uh, it has Idris Elba. It has a lion that apparently is uh, oh, yeah, uh, not very not very friendly. It's kind like of it's stalking. kind of like Jaws, I guess. Kind of, I don't know. So what I heard was it's about a family that's going to like they're going to Africa to like do a a safari, I mm-hmm, think. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. this lion decides it wants to kill the entire family of Idris Elba. Um, mm. I I don't I don't know. It kind of reminds me of like the lion's version of Orca. Oh, okay. You remember okay. that that whole that yeah, that whole, yeah where they're <laughs> on the ocean and they they're like they kill this um they kill an orca and the orca was pregnant and now the dad or the yeah the dad of the orca family that they murdered is now out to get the boat. I think mm. that's kind of what this is. Only okay. it's a lion. So I mean, that'll I got- be good. I mean, I guess kind of like all those stories, if you're going to go to the uh, African safari and, uh, you know, be poking and prodding at where a lion lives, I guess that's 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 what you might get. But I don't know. Not really um, all that keen on going to see this. So I'll probably check it out when it uh, hits a streaming service because Idris Elba is great. But um, uh, this just doesn't seem to uh, to do it for me. Any interest in heading out to see this one next week, Michaela? No, I think I'm going to try and actually get in on seeing Everything, everywhere, all at once. I think that's what it's called. That's right. That's right. Yeah, it is. uh, Because it's uh, come back and it's on all of these like upcoming Oscar film. There's a lot of buzz around it because it is so good. And I did not get to see it in the theater. So I'll probably do that and I'll skip Beast and watch it when it's out on film. Yeah, there you go. So, yeah, uh, make sure you do that. And uh, if you're going out to see Beast, let us know. Let us know how it is and let us know if we should see it. Let us know if you have any uh, sake recommendations for us. And uh, let us know while you're while you're on there, letting us know those things. Go by and leave us a review on iTunes or Spotify. That would help greatly. But for now, Michaela, I think our movie's about to start. So I'm going to grab the sake. You grab the St. Germain and let's head in. I got it. I got it in my purse. All right. Sounds good. And we will talk to everyone next time in the lobby bar.